presently known as Vasai, a city close to Mumbai in 1556. His father was a Portuguese soldier, while his mother was an Indian. He was educated in Jesuit school attached to the church of Holy Name of Jesus within the Vasai court. He not only learned reading, writing, arithmetic, and Glacian, but also perfected himself in music and excelled in singing and dancing. In 1572, St. Gonzalo Garcia accompanied Jesuit missionaries to Japan. Interestingly, they took the same route which St. Francis Xavier took exactly 20 years earlier to China. Like St. Francis Xavier, St. Gonzalo Garcia was never to return India. He worked as a catechist for over eight years at that place. He repeatedly requested for the admissions in the Society of Jesus, but for some unknown reasons, it was not accepted. Let us listen more about the life of St. Gonzalo Garcia. St. Gonzalo Garcia went to Japan at a young age of 15 with Jesuit. Even at a young age, he wanted to uh, witness Christ to proclaim word of God to everyone. St. Gonzalo Garcia learned to speak Japanese while traveling to Japan on the ship itself. The children were attracted to him as he loved to be around them. As he was not allowed to join the Jesuits, St. Gonzalo Garcia left Japan to go to the Portuguese colony of Macau. There he forgot all his religious vocation and for years worked with the Portuguese merchants. When he had gone on a business trip to Manila, Philippines, he came into contact with the Franciscans which revived his old desire to become a missionary. In 1586, he joined the Franciscans order as a lay brother. As a Franciscan brother, Saint Gonzalo Garcia worked in the kitchen and in the dining room and did the marketing for the community. In Manila, many shopkeepers became his friends, especially those who were from Japan, as he spoke to them in Japanese and also because of his friendly nature. Working with the Portuguese merchants in Macau for four years, he learned to do business. This proved immense value in Japan, where he built churches, convents, hospitals for lepros in this business mindset. Wherever St. Gonzalo Garcia went, people were attracted to him. His friendly nature and his smile pulled people towards him. He inspires me to spread joy everywhere. St. Paul Mickey, the companion of St. Gonzalo Garcia, who was crucified along with him, said this word from the cross. My religion teaches me to forgive my enemies and those who persecute me. And to forgive willingly the king and those who are crucifying me. This inspires me to forgive my enemies. After they were arrested, the 26 missionaries were made to walk from 600 miles from Kyoto to Nagasaki where they were to be crucified. They were buried at when they reached Nagasaki. Among the 26 martyrs who were crucified on the cross, they were not only priests, brothers and lay people, but there were three altar servers who around the age of 30, who served the priest during the mass. After they were martyred, their dead bodies were neglected by the local authorities, thinking that they will be eaten by the vultures. But for nearly 40 days, they remained intact. St. Gonzalo Garcia and his companions were beatified by Pope Urban VIII in the year 1627. It was Pope Pius IX who proclaimed them as saints in the year 1862, giving India its first saint. Saint Gonzalo Garcia is the patron saint of the Diocese of the Versailles. His feast day is celebrated on 6th of February along with his mystery companion. Saint Gonzalo Garcia, along with his 25 of his companions, suffered the most torturous death. In 1596, when Japanese shogun Hideyoshi ordered missionaries to be arrested, their left ear was sliced and with the blood flowing through their cheeks, they were tracked to the different towns to infuse fear into the hearts of others. Later, they were taken to the hill of Nagasaki. 
with the iron collar around their necks. They were fused to the crosses with chains and cords. At a given signal, the executioner would thrust two spears into the hearts of each other with the shape of cross, while they faithfully cried, Jesus, Mary. It was 5th February 1597, the hill was then renowned as the Holy Hill of Naga City. Saint Gonzalo Garcia used all his God-given talents to bring people close to God. Am I using my God-given talents to the fullest to be witness of Christ? That's all for now. Stay tuned to our YouTube channel Mission Revival for our next video about the saint whom we definitely heard about. Saint Alfonso from Kerala. Saint Gonzalo Garcia Preferences.